And Sky Nicholson, she's been busy lately. Her fourth fight in 91 days. The Aussie is stepping up in class tonight to take on former world champion Gabriella Bouvier. So the first scheduled eight rounder for Australia's Sky Nicholson, all in red. Her opponent, former world champion Gabriella Bouvier, in the silver and gold. Well, missed with the right hand and could just take her a little bit of time to shake off the ring rust, get her eye in, Darren, nearly three years out of the ring for Bouvier, as active as she has been in the first seven or eight years of her career against somebody as fresh and who's had her eye in as regularly as Sky Nicholson. This could be a little tricky early for it. Yeah, it don't get much harder for Bouvier than Sky Nicholson, who is so quick with hands and feet and her reactions. And when you've been out the ring for three years, yeah, you're struggling to find your timing and your distance. And like I say, Sky Nicholson is so quick with feet and hands and her reactions, and she measures her opponents, controls the distance really well. So Bouvier's going to have to lean on all her experience, try and smother the work, try and get close, because she will fall short an awful lot this evening. Southpaw jab to the body, just lifts it upstairs. Said she's been on a hell of an apprenticeship under the guidance of Eddie Lamb and Al, Al Smith for the iBox gym. We've got some brilliant young fighters there. Keevan Ajarko, Dennis McCann, of course. Just clipped by left hand by Bouvier. She steps in and, uh, well, just starting to march. Nicholson down here, just letting her out the side door and back to centre ring she goes. Yeah, I say try to get close and try and smother the work of Sky Nicholson, but that's easier said than done when you're in there with the speed of foot of Sky Nicholson who just pivots away from the, the rope. She's back in the centre of the ring, always thinking very intelligent. Doing the right thing, Bouvier. She's moving her head as she's stepping forward. Got to be a bit aggressive with the front foot, though. She needs to start closing that gap slightly, but moving the head, making it difficult for Sky Nicholson to, to land cleanly. But look at the concentration in the eyes of Nicholson. Really switched on, so focused. Always trying to look for that counter, isn't she, Chris? And he just whips that left hand round the side of the guard, outside of the peripheral vision of, of Bouvier. Lunges in with the right hand to the body. You may just sense that if she just gets hooked on the exit there. Bouvier will need to set a higher work rate than yeah. this if she's to unsettle Nicholson. If you give her the time and space and allow her to just command the, the non-punching activity like she is doing now, just fainting, maintaining that space. This is not the way to, to go about beating her. If she just lands another jab to the body. She's being allowed to, to just pot shot and dictate at range. Paris Artingstall, who she narrowly lost out to for the Olympic bronze medal place in Tokyo, is due to make her professional debut very soon. I just wonder whether those two may reignite their rivalry at some point down the line, maybe with something far greater in terms of a prize on the line. And well, Nicholson being pushed into the corner, but she's picking really nice singles here, just hooking, stepping off left and right, and she's turned Bouvier with her back to the corner. There's the can't get complacent in this game. It only takes a split second. Someone with the experience of Bouvier, she'll, she'll know, she'll sense if Sky switched off and she'll try and fire back with big overhand right. So sound advice from Eddie. This is good footwork from Sky moving round. Back touches the ropes and she's straight back to the centre of the ring, controlling the distance and the pace of the contest so far. I mean, I'm a big fan of Sky Nicholson. I think she's a very good fighter. She's uh, got every shot in her locker, very quick feet and reaction. But I would like to see her just go through the gears a little more, just up the tempo slightly, put her shots together and really try and force a reaction from her opponent. But otherwise, she's a very good boxer, extremely sharp, very confident. Nicholson looking in full control of this contest. 
And as she starts to turn the screw, lovely straight one, two. Yeah, I think that's probably the, the only thing that's been missing from this performance. She's not had to really be greedy or take any unnecessary risks, but I have to remember this is the entertainment business. People want to see stoppages. They want to see, you know, you, you're really trying to force the action and stop your opponent. But in this sport, you don't really get easy fights. Not that often anyway. So if you're in cruise control like Sky is, then sometimes just enjoy it, soak it all up and get that notch under your belt and move on to the next one but you can see she's extremely switched on she moves so well with her feet her boxing iq is very very good always thinking like i say looking for the counter Bouvier trying something different there but again just doesn't have the speed of foot to get close enough to sky and eddie lamb as he did a couple of rounds ago just reminding her to stay switched on he said don't let Bouvier get lucky <laughs> she had time to, to smile for the cameras that tells you how comfortable a night has been and well she's just paced the eight rounds very well indeed looks like she could comfortably do ten at this pace yeah she's uh she's always been in control of this contest with pace with distance with, with everything and it was down to bouvier to try and force the action try and get close to sky but she's just not been able to and i don't think it's down to desire it's just being able to not being able to sorry match sky for speed she's got the experience but it's very hard to put that into a fight when you're certainly been out of the ring for three years very difficult and again you just see in sky in cruise control once more man in shots at will head and body looking very composed switched on and enjoying herself a minute to go Bouvier knows she's a mile behind if this one goes to points, you need something dramatic in this final 45 seconds. Doesn't look like it's going to come here. Nicholson just puts the one-twos together, just adjusts the range of the feet, shovels into the body, and just steps around her opponent for the umpteenth time tonight. This is where Bouvier really wanted to have extended spells of action, just making it rough up close, trying to unsettle her, but she's just not been able to get there for more than a couple of very, very brief spells in these last eight rounds and Nicholson just inching her backwards fizzes the left hand down the middle there's the 10 second clapper and Bouffier just wings her, a Hollywood right hand that whistles by the chin of the Australian and just jabs her way to the final belt and there it is ladies and gentlemen after eight rounds here at the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff we go to referee Reese Carter's scorecard it reads 80 to 72 for your winner. She's still undefeated. Scott.